Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and I love teaching about magic. If you have a question about spells, the law of attraction, spirituality, witchcraft, Slavic folk magic, spirits, divination, you can join me on Sundays at the Live Magic Q&A where we record an episode of my podcast, Magic and the Law of Attraction, and then I answer your questions on anything mystical or magical live over Zoom. Just go to spellsquad.com to get the link to join me in the clubhouse. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you get a gentle, magical reminder and you'll be the first witch to see whenever anything new goes up. Here's a great tidbit from one of our past Q&As answering a really important spiritual question. All right, Uh, Kathy has a question. What's the best way to raise love vibes for potential relationship dating friends to lovers? There's lots of ways to do that. So there's, you know, we can't get into too many details, but in general, I mean, cause I don't know your situation, but, um, if you have a friend you want to turn into a lover, the gold standard, in my opinion, the gold standard for love magic is having something that belongs to the other person and giving something to the other person, having an exchange of some kind. This is symbolic because love should be an exchange. Intimacy should be an exchange not like you're keeping tabs, you know, it's my turn, your turn or whatever, but in the sense that there's a flow back and forth, right? So whenever we do love magic, the ideal is that we get something that belongs to the other person and give something to the other person so that there's an exchange. So here's some suggestions of things that you can try. First of all, try to get a uh, personal concern from your potential partner, personal concerns. There's a whole uh, article that I've written about personal concerns that you can find under the learn tab under how to guides check out the personal concerns also up in my blog as well. Personal concerns can be things, very intimate things like hair, bodily fluids, fingernail clippings, or less intimate things, photographs, signature, something that the person touched. Now, If you're doing an influence spell on somebody that you're not intimate with, you're influencing a judge, you're influencing a boss, you don't need to have those very intimate personal concerns. You don't need to have a a piece of hair from the judge or the boss. You can have something like a photograph or you can have something like a signature, right? Those are less personal and fine for that. But if you're doing a love spell, you want to get the strongest personal concern that you can get. So strong personal concerns are things that hold the DNA of the person. So bodily fluids hold DNA, hair holds DNA, fingernails hold DNA, sweat holds DNA. These are all intimate things. So how can you get these things? Do you have to go up and pluck a hair off the, your friend's head? No, no, don't, you can. I mean, you can ask them for a piece of hair, see how they react. But really what you can do is if they live by themselves or they have a distinctive hair, on their head that is different than other people that they live with, you can go in the bathroom, into their bathroom and find a piece of hair, might find a nail clipping. If they live by themselves, you can be sure it's theirs. If they don't, you know, your mileage may vary. Go look in the shower, look in the corners of the bathroom. You'll find hair, believe me, unless they're a complete neat freak, you'll find hair. So um, get that hair. It could be head hair, body hair, armpit hair, wherever. It can be any part, any kind of hair. Once you get that piece of hair, you have now a something from the person and you can use that to influence them. You could do, for example, a mental influence spell. You could put it in a um, charm bag or mojo bag. You could, um, you know, uh, put it in, uh, load a candle with it. You could burn it in incense. I mean, you've got something that belongs to them. So you can use that. It's a very valuable thing. And I recommend, even if you don't think you're going to want to do course of magic, if you get an opportunity to get someone's hair that you are in love with then get a piece of their hair and hold it as your insurance policy, because you may want to influence them in some way. So if you can get that, if you can't get a piece of hair, then maybe a thread off of a piece of clothing or a piece of clothing that they've worn and has, haven't washed. That can also be a good personal concern. And you can use that in your magic. And there's lots of ways that you can use magic. And I talk about it in that article. You also want to give something to the other person. So there's lots of sneaky things that you can do. Sneaky magic. I'm, I'm a big fan of sneaky magic. (laughs) 
what can I say? Um, things like soap. So we sell magic spell soap that has ingredients and is blessed for your outcome. And we have a soap called devotion and we have a soap called temptation, temptation and devotion. soap. those are love soaps. And those are, you can take the wrapper off the soap and leave it in your house. And when the person washes their hands, they're washing their hands with this ingredient. That's going to, if you put the intention into it, may so-and-so fall in love with me when they use this soap, they can use that soap at your house and get that result. Or you can gift them the soap and give that to them. And then when they use that soap at home, it's going to make them think of you. It's going to influence them in a way to open up their feelings towards you. It's a great, great trick, easy to do. And everybody uses soap, right? Everybody uses soap. So you can put it in the shower, give it to them as a gift, use it in your shower or, or by the sink or whatever, and have that influence there. So just a quick recommendation. There's lots of things that you can do. Sneaky magic. You can put sachet powders, you know, come to me sachet powder in on pieces of paper that you give to your beloved, or, uh, you could put oil into a body wash, a liquid body wash or a lotion or shampoo, uh, come to me would be great or fire of desire to turn a friend into a lover fire of desire is great for that too. So lots of ways you can do a sneaky magic, but think about when you're thinking about your spell, think about making an exchange in real life. You know, that's the, that's the ideal.